My name is Tracy Sheely and I'm the Greenland Science Operations Manager here in Kangalushwak. So our company works on behalf of the National Science Foundation to support all the researchers that come through Greenland that they are supporting in the field. And so what I do is keep everything hopefully organized. So I work with the flights to make sure that they stay on schedule. I manage our staff here. We have five of us that help with the scientists, both outfitting them to fly other places, as well as doing their work locally. Um, I'm the emergency contact in the event that they have a problem in the field or need help in the field. And everyone that works somewhere else does a daily check-in with me. So I talk to everyone that's in the field in Greenland each morning to see how they're doing and what their weather is and provide them that information so they can keep doing their science. Hi there, I'm Marcy. Um, I'm a science technician at Summit Station in Greenland and I also work down south in Antarctica um, when there are projects down there that I can help with. Um, and I'm really interested in the polar climate and glaciers and how our world is changing and responding to um, these different temperature changes that we're experiencing around the globe. Um, and it's it's um, a very rewarding process to be up here and to have my hands on the equipment and um, to be out in the field and to work with such a great group of people who all come up here. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Morton. I'm an ice core driller. I work for ice drilling design and operations out of Madison, Wisconsin. And we have the subcontract from the National Science Foundation to drill ice cores for science groups in polar regions. So we travel to Greenland and Antarctica regularly to drill ice cores. Here we are in Greenland, surprisingly dealing with a bit of heat. We've had some issues drilling due to the heat, but it's still cold. We're still wearing clothes. My name is Heather McIntyre. I'm a science technician at Summit Station, Greenland. Uh, we're releasing a radio sound here tonight. We do that twice a day. Um, it's done twice a day all over the world. It helps initialize the upper air charts that you see in the news every day. It's one of the older meteorological measurements around. And um, yeah, that's what we're doing here tonight. Uh, the reason why I like science, it's taken me all over the world. Um, and it's helped me meet a lot of really cool people and broaden my horizons. Um, I guess the advice I could give to any science, aspiring science student or science student is to remember that it takes a lot of bravery to learn a new thing. And uh, don't be hard on yourself if sometimes you struggle and have to learn things more than once. You'll keep doing that the rest of your career.